Mr. Newsom, you and the defendant were dating for a period of time, and at some point you decided that you wanted to buy a boat together. Yes, ma'am. And I assume that you know that it's not a very wise thing to do to purchase a property together with someone with whom you're not married. We were engaged at the time. No. Just a second. Sorry. Shh. It's just not a good idea to purchase property because it gets fuzzy. So this is what you did. You purchased a boat together. You put down the down payment. Correct. Which was how much? $2,600. And the agreement of the both of you was that you would split the monthly cost of the boat because the boat cost how much? I don't know the exact price on the boat. How much was financed? I don't know the exact how price. How much was financed? 19100 And before, Miss Chandler, you met Mr. Knudsen, did you own a boat? No, I did not. So it would be fair to say that but for the fact that you were together as a couple, this is not something that you had purchased previously. And you're how old? I am 45. So in 45 years, you have managed to get along without owning a boat? Very well. And you bought the boat from whom, Mr. Knudsen? It was in Sport Boating Store down in Camden, boat, Missouri. A store? Yes. So it was financed through a company? The boat was financed in her name only. Oh. But your agreement was that you would share the monthly cost of the boat? Correct. So the boat was purchased in March of last year? Yes, ma'am. And then you split up. First, you want your deposit back? Correct. That's not happening. First of all, Mr. Knudsen, have you been paying, since you split up, half the installments on the boat? No, I have not. That was your agreement. Okay. The agreement was... That you, you would put down the down payment on the boat, the, and then you would... Sh I read your complaint, and then you would share the monthly loan. The down loan. payment was a loan because she did not have the finances to finance the down payment. All of the taxes were also supposed to be rolled into the monthly payment nice. of the boat. Were you supposed to pay half the monthly cost of the boat? Yes, I was. And did you pay half the monthly cost of the boat? The answer is no. Prior to our separation, I had made half of the monthly payments. The payments came automatically withdrawn from her savings account. Mr. Newton, you're not getting your money back. Pay careful attention. If you went to sell the boat, the boat depreciates. That means that the only one who gets stuck is her. Just like if you bought a car together. As soon as you drive it out of the lot, it depreciates. Depending upon the car, it depreciates a certain amount of money. So what you said is, I want you to make me whole. But she you, are still, you are still stuck. So if you turned around tomorrow to sell this boat that you bought last year, you would get a lot less money. You would still be on the hook for the nineteen dollars or $18,000 in a loan. And I want you to pay me back the $2,600. Okay. My name is not anywhere on okay. the boat. We're done. We're done, with the, we're done with the boat. I explained myself to you. If you don't like the explanation, that's tough. The taxes were not all rolled into... I don't care. Okay. I don't yeah. care. That's now, the next, thing we're gonna, care the next thing we're going to talk about is the ring. Because you have three things. The boat, forget it. I just explained why. Now, we're going to talk about the ring. That's the ring? Yes, ma'am. I want to see it. You want the ring back? Yes. You don't like him anymore? No, Your Honor. Give him the ring. <laughs> what else? There was $455.70 that I paid in city tax that was not rolled into the payment I of the boat. Next. I also paid $100 for a battery for her car because she didn't have the money. We're done. Thank she, you very much. The time, this is over. Time, you have your engagement ring back. We're finished.